Updating applications and Linux-based operating systems is made a lot easier by the package managers. In the Debian-based systems, APT is the program used, or aptitude. In this case, we're demoing from an Ubuntu system, which is a variation of the Debian type systems. Sometimes these are called flavors or distributions. So let's take a look at the program. So apt has several programs inside of it, so really it's a suite. And probably the most important is apt-get. This is the program that will allow you to update your system. If we do an apt-get, we have several options. Most important are update, upgrade, install, remove, and distribution upgrade. First, a little background. When we do an apt-get update, we are not updating the software on our system. Instead, what we're doing is we're updating our local database that keeps track of the programs that are installed on our system and the programs that are available to download from our package maintainer. And of course, it keeps track of the differences. Now let's look at this common issue. We do apt-get update and we get an error. And we see problems like unable to lock directory and other error messages. This is very common and it's caused by the fact that we're not running as a privileged user. So typically if you just log into a system like Ubuntu as yourself and you want to do an app get update, you'll need to precede it by the sudo command. And depending on your system, you may even have to enter your root password or your own password in order to use this command. We can see that apt-get is downloading the available packages and it's updated our database. Again, we haven't actually upgraded any of the programs on our system, but now we have a list of programs and their versions that are available for us. And so the system can compare the programs that we have installed against the ones that are available to see if there's anything new. To actually do an upgrade, we can say apt-get and upgrade. And again, we need to run this with super user privileges or root privileges, administrator privileges. So precede it with the sudo command. And now we can see a list of all the software upgrades that are available for us. To continue installing, we can just hit enter because the Y for yes is capitalized, meaning that's the default choice. We can see that the first thing that upgrade is doing is it's going out and grabbing the latest copy of the software from the package maintainer and downloading it to our system. Once this step is complete, it can start installing the software. A quick word about upgrade versus distribution upgrade. With upgrade, we're installing the programs that are running on our system, but we're not actually upgrading our distribution. In other words, we're not upgrading Ubuntu itself, but more so the programs that are installed on our Ubuntu operating system. So as an example, just a moment ago, we saw Firefox get downloaded, obviously our web browser program that's installed. And the upgrade continues to go through the list of programs that are available compared to the version we have installed. And if there's a newer version, then it's going to go ahead and download it. And it's showing us these version numbers as it does the download. So now that it's reached the end of the download phase, it's going to loop back around and start to unpack each of these programs that it downloaded. 
once it gets done doing the unpacking, it can move on to the installation. It depends on how fast your internet connection is as to how long the first step is going to take. And it depends on how fast your system is as to how long the second part is going to take. But generally speaking, once you get the software downloaded, the unpacking and the installation goes fairly quickly. If some processes are going to take a long time, you may get a little bit of a warning message like this may take a while, but that's really up to the package to decide if they're going to give you any kind of messages or not. Otherwise, you'll just see what program is being installed. We can see now that the program installation phase has started and the different programs are being set up, configured, installed into the proper directory overriding the old versions. Generally one of the last steps is you'll see that the boot processes are being updated so that when your system restarts it'll point to the new software that's available. Now let's go ahead and look at distribution upgrade. So if there are upgrades available for your actual operating system that are a lot different than the version that you currently have, the distribution upgrade will allow you to get those upgrades. So if you want to do a full and complete upgrade, you have to actually use dist upgrade instead of just upgrade. But if you just want to upgrade the software on your system, the programs in other words, then you can just use upgrade. So we did an upgrade and installed all the new software that was available. And now that we've done a dist upgrade, we're getting those extra programs that are actually part of the Ubuntu operating system itself. So we've downloaded those programs and they're now being set up, configured, and installed. And as we get towards the end, we'll see that the boot process gets upgraded again. So now we can see the actual images that are started when we start our system are being set up. If you want to upgrade your kernel itself, or other critical parts of the operating system, you'll have to use distribution upgrade. If you want to install a particular program, you can use install. And that way you don't have to do an upgrade of everything just to get one program. So if we have a program that's already installed and we do app get install and then the name of the program, it'll just upgrade the current version to the new version. Let's say that we want to install an entirely new program that we don't even have. So for example, we'll install radio. Now the radio program is installed. And if we want to remove a program, we can use remove. So we'll demonstrate on the program we just installed radio. And now the program is removed. 